hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hey up then, uh, how are you doing? Hi Russ. Alright mate, uh, you Fury and Peter Fury, what next in their careers then, what do you think? I think uh, their time will come again. Yeah. I think uh, if anything, boxing's about timing, mm -hmm. but you know when you've got a class acts working together, and Peter is a class act, mm -hmm. and Russell, uh, sorry, you are as well, Russ. I'm not saying you're not. Don't forget, but, Louis 25. Isn't but you is 25, and he's got pedigree in his DNA. Probably the timing, well, it weren't, in my opinion, the timing weren't right for him. But he's gone and had a go, so he'll live, learn from all that experience. Mm. Now, some kids develop quicker than others. Mike Tyson, at 25, we we're, were starting to look worn, but at 21, he were unbeatable. Yeah. Yui's not a Mike Tyson. Mm. Yui's a probably a late developer, but he's got all that experience. And look at look at the company he's been in. Oh, yeah. So he's learned from that. So he just needs to take stock, freshen up again, and then he'll come again like a whirlwind because he's got so much experience. You know, he'll know how to handle any style. Mm. And once he matures that little bit more, because I think there's a bit more maturing to do in in uh, in Yui. Yeah. Uh, but he's got it. Look, he's got a. A very experienced fella in his dad, who's who's got a great brain, business brain and boxing brain, and he'll come again. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm pals with Peter anyway, and, and all the family so like, but Peter's my pal, and, and I've got utmost respect for him as uh, as he has for me, and uh, I'm always there for him if ever I can help him uh, with anything. But I do rate him, not just as a trainer, as a man. Yeah. Uh, so he'll come again in and uh, look for me I mean Tyson's done fantastic and I think he's fantastic fantastic for the Furies fantastic for British boxing but let's, let's not make no mistakes Peter has played a part in the shaping of Tyson that's that's my opinion yeah um, and it's a shame that Peter's not there at the side of him Um mm. But families fall out. Nobody more knows better than me. Um, yeah. And uh, but hopefully they'll get back together, and uh, they'll rekindle and and hopefully share the 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 uh, the memories. And it's not just about a financial side. It's about the memories, what it can create together. And they've, they've still got a long way to go. So hopefully they'll uh, at some stage they'll, they'll all get back together and uh, and uh, UA in the next year, two years, gets knocking on the door to be at the top of the tree. So I hope he does, because I think he's got enough ability to be able to do it. Mm. It's just he needs, I think, freshening up a little bit. Mm. Did you know that, uh, here's a statistic for you, obviously Peter, when is it Peter did, he, he trained Tyson, he trained Savannah, trained Dewey. None of them have hit the deck with him in the corner. That's a testament to it. Obviously, people, a lot of people say that Peter's a defensive-minded trainer, don't they? But his fighters are not getting dropped, are they? You know, but you know, now and again, just had a little bit of devilment to to that uh, ring craft, and then you've you're starting to get a full package. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and he only wants to operate at the highest level, at elite le level. Yeah, Peter, and and he's he's got that in his makeup, and he's got and a big thing is the mentality of it all. And when mm. you, when you go out there and you think that. You can beat anybody, and Peter's mm. got that mentality where he can mm. install and, and get that edge into a a kid that's male or female. Yeah. Then you've you've got a chance. Obviously, you've got to have the ability to do it. Yeah. But he's got that sort of motivational uh, psyche, what he can bring to the table, and I think he can get the best out of people. Not just technically, I think mentally you can do that. Well, out, out of uh, 69 trainers who got in with, who put game plans together against Vladimir, Peter were 
the guy who brought the mould money with a game plan to meet Vladimir Klitschko. I, I, well, in my opinion, I, you know, obviously my, people might think I'm biased. I think Peter would have come up with a game plan to beat uh, Deontay Wilder. I don't know, his performance, Tyson's were, were phenomenal against yeah. uh, Deontay, but I think Peter could have come up with that. Um, and, you know, they kept all the Furies together. Yeah. And, uh, and, but it's just a shame that he wasn't there because I think he deserved to be there. I mean, I, I you know, I, I helped to Peter with UE with the IBF and getting him ranked Pula. with the Pula fight. Uh, and I definitely thought he would beat Pulev, but circumstances went against him. He got a terrible cut. It disrupted his training regime, and he wasn't the same fighter. What were starting to gather momentum after he just knocked Sam Sexton out. Yeah. Um, so I think his preparation affected him, and then he's probably getting beat by Pulev has affected affected his confidence a little bit, and uh, it's just got. He's got the ability to come again, mm. and, he, and he will do, and he'll learn from all these experiences. Um, but I think on his day, confidence, conditioned, with his dad in the corner, I still think Ue would have given uh, AJ all the trouble he can handle with his movement and and um, encountering. Mm. And I think he, I think on his day, Ue will would. I think AJ had struggled with. With Yui. Yui's style. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he just needs uh, some luck. They've had some bad luck, haven't they? Oh, we all. Just, but then you've just got to keep going. Because if everybody had all the luck, then it won't be cricket. So, yeah. you know, you've got to make your own luck. You have to have your downs to have your, have your ups. I've yeah. had plenty of downs, but I've had some big ups, haven't I? Yeah, it's a roller coaster to your life, life isn't it, Dan? <laughs> well, it is a roller coaster, a bit like, do you get off? Yeah. I could get off and say I have nothing else to prove, but it's a drug, isn't it? You just you want like to keep... to win, though, don't you? Dan? Yeah, I want to win things. I've got Tommy Frank in for a world title uh, as, a, as a flyweight. I'm, I'm going to try and push our own heavyweight with, with Big Richard Towers, who's my dear pal, who, where we're trying to bring cash, who brings a story to the table. Um, and I think... You know, with Peter and with you, I think we can all help each other. And I'm looking forward to that. And I need a cup of tea and a bit of lunch with Peter. I'm, I've missed him and, I, I, you know, um, we're, we're overdue from having a get-together. Yeah. Uh... But I've had circumstances in my family with losing my mum and things like that where mm. um, I've just come to terms with it. Uh, I'm good at putting fronts on, obviously. I keep my boxing room, which, which keeps me focused. But I need to sit down with Peter now and I've got my egg. Act together again, and um, we can see where we can strategize and we can help each other in boxing. Well, come through with me this Thursday, then. I've got some meeting. I'm just writing them down here, but um, okay. I will be going through to see Peter. Where is he at now? Uh, I think the gym that they're working at in our South. I've got a guess right down his car. So yeah, I want to come and see him, and then we'll go for a bit of a bite to eat. We'll sit get I Frank. Know. Come get Frank to come with us as well. Eh? Oh yeah, I love Frank. I love yeah. Frank, don't we? Yeah, great. Man. <laughs> How you doing, Frank from Berry? <laughs> Top lad. Uh, fighters, Dennis. Do you think a lot of fighters have a lot of people in their ear, in their ears behind the scenes, away from the teams? Do you think a lot of that goes on in boxing? I don't think. <laughs> I know, but just like I've been on the end of a few of them. I yeah, mentioned one. Do you think that's wrong in the game? Well, yeah, I've on. seen people change when I've helped them get there. They come, to, you know, can you help me? So humble, and then they they change like Stuart Hall, Jamie McDonald. Uh, you know, people like that, and you think, all of a sudden, what, what did I ever do wrong? All I've done is change your life, help you change your life. They weren't Olympians, and I've got them to world title, title status. So it, it happens, and people get in their ear, and then, uh, you know, there's a loyalty, what did he say, Mickey Duff, you want loyalty by a dog. You want loyalty to get a dog, yeah. So unless you've got somebody who's old school like me, Peter, he's got his son, Ewe, uh, who's going to stay loyal to his dad. Uh, fortunately, I had a good run with Clinton. I'm not happy with some of the stuff he put in his book because there's a couple of untruths in his book about how his career unfolded. He still probably to this day doesn't realise the full uh, weight of what I actually did for him uh, and how I, I looked after him and didn't take what I could have took as regards my percentages and stuff like that. Uh, people fall out about money. I made Clinton a wealthy lad uh, through manoeuvring him. He had to do the fighting, but... 
without me, he wouldn't have got where he got to. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a team effort. Um, but some of the stuff he's put in his book is is, is, is there's a couple of untruths in it. So uh, I don't I don't read I read the book fully, but I've just read a couple of bits, and it's a bit pathetic to me. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Because you had a great. Uh, I love him. I love him. I love what we achieved together. But um, he's uh, he's made a couple of stupid comments. So you know, I'm like Russ. If I, I, I don't forget. I think that's a shame. Wow. Not a shame. Look, I, I speak about him. I speak about our story. It's fantastic what we achieved together. Uh, and uh, we, in my eyes, we, he. he Right until towards at the end, he hung on every word I said, never refused to find his life. But when people start looking to blame, that's when all of a sudden you go, hold on a minute, uh, look at all the positives uh, and how far would they have got? We, we you know, we had yourself. They did brilliant in his career. Yeah, nobody, nobody fancied him. Uh, they were only me and Neil, but I got him to, after blessing Neil passed away, I got him to a on a different planet, a different level, through manoeuvring him at the right fight at the right time. We had the Roy Jones, which I made. He didn't even in his book apparently. He's put he thought that was prearranged when I threw him on the stage. It was just off the cuff. It was just on the spot and that's why I've made a living, I suppose, being able to think on my feet. And uh, we were a great partnership. Clinton could fight. I know how a fighter thinks, but I know how a businessman thinks as well. Yeah. And uh, that's why we were a perfect uh, partnership. And we should have still been working together now, but uh, you know he, he doesn't surround himself with certain people that I uh, I care for, and uh, you know they weren't there at the start. Where were all these people at the start? I got him there. Um, but uh, I'm proud of what we achieved together. No matter what, I'm proud of what I achieved with Jamie McDonald and Stuart Hall because on my CV I got kids there who nobody else fancied. And it, so it shows it weren't a fluke what I do. Look what I'm doing with Tommy, Tommy, uh, Tommy Franks. He's got a world title out of nowhere. Yeah. So like, he's, he's earned it in my eyes. But would 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 anybody apart from me have got him there that quick? No. On the resources, he's not an Olympian. He's not a big name. He's not a, you know, he's not got a, a glittering amateur career. But, uh, he's not got a glittering CV, has he either? And I, but I love him as a kid. I like him. I love him as a fighter, uh, and I saw the potential in him. And with me, Tommy, and Glyn, and Steve Crump, we're a fantastic team together. And that's why that kid will achieve. Yeah. And, and he just swims; he can fight. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> you think that Josh Wade will get a world title, Dennis? I think he can. Really, yeah. yeah. You think you can deliver for I Josh think he, world I think title? He can. I'm, uh, it's it's uh, something that's eating away at me where I, I feel I'll, I've got to try and make it happen. Hey Josh, mm. yeah. Because I love him and I love his dad. All his family have got time for. Mm. And I think it will, because you know what I'm like, Russ, I want to make some great memories. That will be a great memory, especially with our family. Mm. And me and his dad are going great. We're, we're best pals. Yeah. Uh, so if I could get him a shot at a world title and to be stood outside of his... Yeah, what I one little condition where I'd like to be able to do. Yeah, go on. Is if we get the world title. Yeah, go on. I want to be in the. I want to walk out in the corner with you. What we make and. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it'll allow me to. But hey, Josh. if not, it's not a major problem because I'm part of the team anyway. But uh, make me proud because I've done it with Clinton, done it with Jamie McDonald. Uh, fighters who I thought a lot about so Josh is somebody I think a lot about and I'd like to do the same but whether I'm in the corner as one of the train you know one of the things um, or I just walk out as his manager and promoter it, uh, it'll be a proud moment anyway so great people so that's what I'm trying to do well, try Josh Way will fight you for a world title in Barnsley it'd be packed at rafters won't it yeah most successful fighter ever to come out of Barnsley, so let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah. But we need to get a move on. Yeah. All right then. So thanks for the chat today, Dennis. You've been honest and straight talking.
as uh, as ever. And uh, all the I'm best impressed with your black track suit and your hat. I think yeah. you're starting to look a bit more streamlined, Russ. Am I? You are, Russ. Are they Thank looking to be a bit of a unit now? And I'm thinking. I think old Jane needs to wash yourself because I think <laughs> you're going to have quite a bit of mail, <laughs> fan mail. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. What do you mean? No, you're not with no comment, are you? <laughs> yeah, I usually do, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so peace out, guys. Have you got a, a shout out to anybody you want to shout out to? Uh, just keep supporting us and, and, and keep the faith because uh, while ever I've got a passion for this game, there's something going to happen. Yeah. Are you going to be coming to my party for me, a million views? Because uh, we're throwing a party, aren't we? Oh, we? Yeah, well, when, when, when's that like? Well, we be? just we should hit it this week, like, but it's going to be in a couple of weeks. I just wonder if you fancy it. Oh, I'd love to. So, all right. Then. Who's coming? Uh, just your usual suspects. <laughs> you know, I'll be there if invited. All right, then. Well, there's an inviting post for you then. How's about that? All right. Thanks, Russ. Peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>